According to CNN, the Sunday march in Hong Kong began peacefully, but protesters continued past the police-designated endpoint in Wan Chai to the Chinese government's liaison office. There, they threw eggs, spray-painted messages on the wall, and splattered black ink on the Chinese national emblem. The Associated Press and CNN report that riot police later threw tear gas canisters and used rubber bullets to disperse protesters, most of whom retreated. Footage posted on social media also showed chaos at the Yuanlong MTR station, as massed assailants dressed in white assaulted commuters, protesters, journalists, and even a lawmaker with bamboo sticks. CNN reports that 45 people were hospitalized following the violent incident. According to the BBC, Sunday's demonstrations were put on edge following a Friday night raid at an industrial site, during which police found TATP explosives, petrol bombs and weapons, as well as pro-independence protest materials and leaflets. A man was arrested at the site. Two others connected to the find have also been taken in. The next day, a counter-rally was held to support the city's police force and condemn violence. More than 100,000 were in attendance, reports the Associated Press, many of them pro-China supporters. Protests in Hong Kong began last month to oppose a controversial extradition bill that would have allowed accused residents to stand trial in mainland China. Chief Executive Carrie Lam has since suspended the bill, but protesters are dissatisfied with this resolution. According to CNN, they are calling for her to formally withdraw the bill and also to resign from her post. Other demands from the protest movement include direct voting rights for all Hong Kong residents, dropping charges against anti-extradition bill protesters, removing the characterization of a clash between protesters and police as a riot, and dissolving the Legislative Council.